Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro made a stop this week at the Y in Pittsburgh's Homewood neighborhood to praise after school and summer programs. KDKA political editor John Delano was with him and in an interview you'll see only on KDKA, the governor had some fun with the kids and defended his school choice position. Governor Shapiro was greeted by dozens of kids at the Homewood Y who took him on a tour of the facility before they and Shapiro demonstrated their basketball skills with both solid shots and a few misses. Great things are happening at the Homewood YMCA. It's a wonderful outlet for students after school during the school year and throughout the summer. They're doing amazing things from athletics. I just got knocked out in the game of knockout uh, to learning how to make music, arts and crafts, you name it. Why am I here? Because we need more of this across Pennsylvania. Shapiro says his budget now before the legislature invests more in programs like this. It's a place that's safe for our kids. It's a place of learning for our kids. And I want to make sure that places like Homewood and other YMCAs and, and other outlets for students have the resources they need so our kids can be their best selves. The governor also believes that you can fully fund the state's public schools while also giving low-income parents the choice and the money to send their children to non-public schools in poorly performing school districts. We've got to get on the path to sustainability and fully funding our schools. That's my top priority. That's the number one issue. Now, I also believe that kids in struggling school districts, particularly poor kids in struggling school districts, if their parents or guardians want to put them in a situation where they can better succeed through a scholarship on top of funding public education, that that should be available to them. While the Republican Senate has backed Shapiro's school choice program, House Democratic leaders have not. So will it be included in this year's budget? This is now a matter that needs to be sorted out between the Republican-controlled Senate and the Democrat controlled house, democratic controlled house. They're going to work together to find common ground on a whole host of education issues. Shapiro had no predictions on the outcome, but says on the budget overall, required to be approved by the end of the month, conversations have been, quote, positive, thoughtful, and productive. John Delano, KDKA TV News.